I'm Lance Schwartz with Field and Stream and Outdoor Life, and today we're here to talk to you about the Bosky 1600 UT ATV Wagon. We've beat the living daylights out of this thing. I've towed it down trails at 40 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour, or it was bouncing up and down so high, I thought it was either going to fall off or the wheels were going to fall off. And it never did. Uh, in fact, it never broke. We've never done anything more to it than actually puncturing one of the tires. And uh, I'm surprised we didn't puncture all of them, to be honest with you. What we found out is the bigger the machine, the heavier the ATV, the easier it pulls it. So whereas the Grizzly does a great job of pulling it, it's going to do a little bit better than the Brute Force 300, simply because, number one, this is four-wheel drive and the Brute Force 300 is not. And number two, it's a bigger machine, it has more power, it has more weight, and ultimately more traction, and it has the ability to tow this thing wherever we want to go with it. Twin 800-pound axles give the ATV wagon a GVRW of 1,600 pounds. That allows a capacity of 1,100 pounds to swallow whatever you'd like to throw into the back of it. The 25-inch all-terrain tires give the ATV wagon 11 inches of ground clearance. With a lot of weight in the back of it, it rides fantastically. You'll notice when the uh, wagon is empty that because the tires are flotation tires, the ATV wagon does tend to bounce a little bit. It also has surge brakes on the front axle. How it works is the ATV, whenever you grab a front or a rear brake, it sends a signal to the rear tail light on your ATV. The Bosky is wired into that tail light via a wiring harness. So when you grab the brake, it sends an electrical signal to the surge device. And that surge device actually sends power out to the front axles and it will stop both front wheels on the wagon. It's really great if you have a lot of weight in the back, especially when you have a lot of weight in the back because, you know, at 1600 pounds on a slippery slope, um, there's a pretty good possibility you're not going to stop this thing with just uh, the ATV brakes. But if your ATV does not have a parking brake, like the Grizzly does, and it just has park, when you put it into park, you get off of the ATV and you let go of the brake. When you let go of the brake, now there's no braking power going to the UTV wagon. So you have to be aware of that. You have to be conscious of that. We have our ATV wagon wired to our Grizzly with a toggle switch. So when I want to raise or lower the bread, all I have to do is click the toggle switch and it goes up and down. One thing you'll notice is that raising and lowering is tedious. It does take a little bit of time. So, uh, and, and that's simply because instead of it being electro-hydraulic, it's actually electric and it's a screw drive. It's kind of like a screw driven like a garage door opener would be. So it takes some time to go up and to go down, but it has an incredible amount of torque. Um, I have absolutely overloaded this. I've probably had two times as much weight in it as you're supposed to, and, and it lifted it. There was no issues. If you're a do-it-yourselfer like I am, it never hurts to have equipment around your house that you can actually get the job done on your own. Um, and if that's what you do, and if that's what you're looking for, the Bosky 1600 UT is a phenomenal piece of equipment. It's a bomb-proof design made of 14 gauge steel, it's got the electric dump, it's got the electric surge brakes, and it's got a dual hinge tailgate that allows you to, to uh, dump your contents in a precise manner. Um, you can do all that, and in addition, Take the thing hunting. Take it on a trip. Take it on an adventure. Uh, load it in the back with coolers and take your family out on a picnic. It's a phenomenal piece of equipment and a reasonable price. 